I don't know, I hope I don't fall. Can't a hoe tell me shit. Cause bitch, I'm the shit. Oh my mom and my sis had to kick my own blood out. They must All right, buddy, <laughs> welcome back to the Parlay Boys Prisons. What they can't say. A very special episode. I think this is our best week yet. I know I keep saying it, but this is our best week yet. I can't remember yet. I think for me it's about your the best same. week. It's about the same. Nope, your yeah. best week by far. Yes, yeah, but maybe not one. What? But I'm your host, your boy Q's. I'm Roy. Hello. Man, what you want to start up with our uh, where we fucked up the fuck ups of the week? Where we fucked up? Yeah. Um. This is our best week so far. I got five wrong only. Five wrong. My five were the Bills. Uh, they got their asses whooped against Lamar. That was. I got that right for them too. Uh, that was crazy. Uh, I didn't expect that, but hey, that makes me feel way more confident for when we play the Bills. Uh, unless they go and trade for like Devontae Adams or something crazy. Uh, next one I got wrong with the Bears. Uh, I'll be a Bears hater until proven otherwise. Well, like I said, they, they pulled off a fluke win against a really injured team. I wish that team could stay healthy one day. Mm-hmm. Tell you they're going to be there. Yeah. Uh, other game I got wrong was the Colts, but I didn't know that uh, my boy Joey yeah, Flacco was going to be playing. There's just something I trust more about Flacco. That's what you're saying. I'm just like, oh. I just, yeah, I love me some Flacco. Yeah, hey, you know he was starting either. I was like, man, what the? I am so happy that he is... Back in action because it's about to be another Flacco year, Flacco summer. But it next, looks like it. Yeah, it's for real. It he like does it every year. He just uh, the dude gets injured. I feel like it's something. In, he puts something in their water. Or just like he is the reason that they're getting injured. He's like paying the other guys like, hey, go injure this dude. I want to. There's good, good, there's good. incentives in my contract for if I have to start games, I get a million dollars per start. Yeah, yeah. We need a playoff. Chad Henne right? had that. Yeah, a million dollars per start. Damn. Mm-hmm. Well. Well. Next one I got wrong, Broncos. I'm a yeah, Broncos hater. Me too. And I think those motherfuckers are going to uh, pretty much lose every game, except for the ones they've won already. Uh, a little foreshadowing for my pick later. Uh, and then Falcons. I uh, fucked up on the Falcons. Um, I can't win with those guys. I bet against them, I lose. I bet, I, I bet for them, I lose. Other than when they play the Chiefs. Because we always know what's going to happen when somebody plays the Chiefs. But that's my best week so far. Only five wrong. Cues? Yeah, we had a lot of the same picks. Uh, the same. The only ones I got different is you have the Raiders, ain't it? I got Raiders. You got Raiders wrong? Yeah, Raiders game wrong. The Buck Buccaneers game wrong, and uh, uh say it again. Yeah. What, what what was that the last game? The Buccaneers. Yeah, the big show. I told you, but I said it was a fluke. I should have realized. Jalen with no weapons, I forgot. Baker Mayfield has two number one receivers. Yeah, that's why I should remember. It was like a Baker with the whole cast and Jalen with no nobody. With yeah, Caleb Otten. Caleb Otten. Somebody. Buddy, yeah. I told you I said they beat him in the playoffs. They're going to whoop him again this time. All right, next time, get uh, get AJ Brown back in there. Yeah, I don't care. You could get fucking uh, prime OJ Simpson in there. I don't care. He's here prime OJ Simpson. He had over 2,000 yards. 2013, I think. Sorry. Continue. What? Enough about OJ. What? It's easier to do. <laughs> no, yeah, but that, yeah, that was it for my fuck ups. I got six wrong, so. So we had all the same ones, but you plus one with the Raiders. Yeah, and the Buccaneers. That's another week for me. Just like the Chiefs, I am four. And uh. Whoa. Time for a late season comeback for you, buddy. 
Well, it's easy. It's already, talent? it's already, every, every, every one from now on is now a must win from now on. A must win? There's, um, there's 16 weeks. Okay, I can't lose. 17? There's 17 weeks. Well, 17, yeah. I can't lose. There's actually 18 the weeks. Oh, there's my There's actually 18 weeks. Oh, there's my bye week? 17 games. No, you don't get a bye week. There's no bye week. Not for us. Not for the Parley Boys. Parley Boys don't take a week off. But, that being said, we can't take another second off without telling them, who finna win? Who finna win? Who finna win? We won the Bank Show versus Kirk on Thursday. Thursday night. Thursday night, Kirky. Prime time. Technically again. a prime time game. Dirty Kirk. And the Buccaneers. I don't know. I pro- I know who you're probably gonna decide with, but I'm gonna go ahead and say Atlanta money line. Kirk at least two touchdowns. Want to be safe, but at least two. Well, when are you ever gonna learn? <laughs> you can't bet against the big show. The time I bet on him, he lost, but. And I have highlight. Nah, uh that's not true. Every time that I've told you to bet on him and you did, you won. You said that. Yeah, you said that yesterday. No, oh, well, I actually bet on him. Was that that week three when he lost against uh, what was it? Man? Oh, against the Broncos. That was a fluke. <laughs> that was a fluke. That was yeah. the one time I bet on him. Man. That was coaching, and I didn't know about the stats. All about coaching. Uh, I didn't know about Sean Payton's stats against that. Would be the Jets and the, and the Buccaneers. Yeah, I think it was trash, and he wanted to prove that. So he was like, "We're just gonna pound the rock." But anyhow, um, I actually have this game highlighted because I think this one's gonna be a statement game. Uh, I think this is where um, Bake Bake Show Baker Mayfield uh, kind of like solidifies his place at the top of the division until proven otherwise, and. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think they're going to win that division pretty handedly. And I thought the Saints were going to get second, Falcons third, and uh, obviously Carolina fourth. Yeah, it's looking a lot better in the division than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I think it's a top five division in the league. Yeah, pretty exciting. With all that offense, all, all, them, all those guys got. Yeah, and the Saints defense is crazy. The Bucks defense is young and really good, uh, really dynamic. To, and the Falcons... Are pretty much good at every level except quarterback. Yeah, dirty Kirk. No. Kirk is just all right, you know. Kirk, okay. he's just all right, and that's okay. Like he's like Joe Flacco. He's just all right. That's, not, that's all you need is just all right. That which leads us to the second game of the week. We got Jets Vikings. Oh my gosh! Oh, did the bud did the budget get raised? I think it did. It must have. Hiring staff. Wow. wow. Uh, submit your applications and uh, accuse DMs. And Kitty Foreman, um, cool. when she gets off her ship at the Biscuit Factory, she will uh, <laughs> she'll answer your your uh, your inquiries. All right, week two, we got the Jets versus the Vikings. And I got the Vikings over the Jets. Like in the... No, wait, hold up. Vikings over the Jets? Yeah. I'm taking the Jets over the Vikings. A-Rod, one-plus touching down. And here's why. This is Sam Darnold's revenge game. I think he finally needs a loss. How many is that in a row for? Yeah. yeah he needs, it's, He's it's not, not losing long. this week. Not in his revenge game against his old team. Again? He's mad again? He, he's mad because yeah, he nobody gave him a chance. Minutes. He's mad because nobody gave him a chance. And, uh, and it was all because the front office had, was terrible and had bad coaches. And now they got new coaches. And But he still hates them. So just saying. That's all I'm saying. And the Vikings are going to beat the fuck out of the Jets. And you can fucking bet uh, uh, Sam. Two plus touchdowns. Whoa, that's crazy. Samuel Donald. I could kind of see that happen though, though. But and if you want, who you want to know who it's going to be? 
Oh, I'll tell you who it's going to be. Jay Jezus for one. Jordan Jay Addison Jay. for the second one. Well, I hope it is Jefferson because I've got him on fantasy. But. Fantastic. But, yeah, I'm telling you, Jets money line. A Rod, at least one. Uh, to who? I, I really don't know, but at least one fantasy. Probably two, to be honest, but that's just, just to be safe. I don't think he's going to get two. I think plus one and a half. <laughs> All righty. Well, I'm glad that you are going to lose next week's uh, Where We Fucked Up again beat with that pick. That's going to be the one that puts you over the edge. I'm telling it's you, I'm calling it right now. I'll call my shot right here. No. You're going to lose by one again, and you're going to be like, damn. What, and what, I'm gonna be like five and zero, and, and remember, remember what she said about the Vikings Jets game, and I'm, you're gonna be like, oh god. What if that's the one that makes you lose, by the way? What would you say? I'd be like, no, bitch. No, you don't live next to any schools, do you? You said that. You don't live next to any schools, do you? No. Because I'm about to spin the block. Because <laughs> I'm about to spin the block. Well, and I don't want to be a school yeah, shooter. Well, Within, yeah, if you're within the school range. So. Damn, the bullets will definitely do hit the school. Because it's going to be a rocket launcher. Well, Alright, next game. Alright! Now we got Panthers, Bears. Keys, what do you got? Well, I got to, you know, take the Bears, obviously. I mean, Andy Dones just lost his biggest threat. What is it, Thielen, for the year? Yeah. So... You know, it looks like Caleb's going to keep it rolling, man. If he does what he did last week to beat the Rams, you know, just keep just keep it rolling. Yeah, I think it should be an easy one for the Bears, especially with that defense. Yeah, that's what you Yeah. Yeah. What do you got? I got Panthers over Bears. <laughs> Hater picks. Hater hey. picks usually work out for me. I had two work out for me last week. I had one. <laughs> I had one not work out for me last Sometimes week. Sometimes it works. Yeah. So it's a two to one Sometimes ratio. So either this is the one I'm wrong on, or I'm gonna be right on two other ones. So could this be the one that you're gonna look back and and be and be like, I was like, man, that's me. I know why. Could be, but Chuba Hubbard anytime touchdown. Mm. Hey, there's yours. Chubba Hubbard, anytime touchdown. The odds on that probably be crazy. Now, this is going to be a really, really boring fucking game. Commanders versus Browns. What do you got? I'm taking the commanders. Jalen Daniels just keeps, you know, doing that little college bullshit offense. Yeah. And uh, getting it uh, done against the Deshaun, who, you know, who just got his ass whooped from Danny Dunn. Yeah, Deshaun Watson's so, terrible. Um, yeah, it's over. His career's over. Uh, yeah, I got commanders over Browns, too, and I got Daniels anytime touchdown. I can see that. I don't like any stats on that. I'm just taking the Washington straight up money line. Daniels in time touchdown. We'll check back on that next week. Now we got the Dolphins versus the Patriots. Well, who do you got for this? Listen, man, it's plain and simple. Without a quarterback, the Dolphins are nothing. Tyreek Hill wants out. He wants to come back to KC. He's just pissed right now that he didn't stay with the contract we offered him. No. So with that, I say the Dolphins are going to lose to the Patriots. And you can take this to the bank. Ramondre Stevenson, anytime touchdown. You can definitely see that. I'm also taking the Patriots. Wow. Yeah, well, I thought Huntley maybe we could do a thing or two, but when I saw what he did last game, I was just like, yeah. Waddle looking like he's already asking for a trade on the sidelines. So, yeah, we're taking uh, Drake Mays. Drake May led Patriots. Drake, Drake Mays and Mayo led uh, Patriots. Yeah, Mayo's exceeding our expectations, I will say. I still think he's terrible, though. 
You said Belichick was a problem? He was a problem. He's outdated. Outdated? Yeah. I can see it. Speaking of outdated, we're going to bring it over to two outdated offenses. The Jaguars versus the Colts. Wow. What do you got? Is it going to be record-breaking losses? The first teams to both lose? The first lose? What do you mean? To both lose. <laughs> to both lose? Maybe the first team in history to both lose. The tie. The tie. What are they getting? The negative tie. Maybe. So they both get a loss instead of a tie. What does the tie game? You know, Trevor Lawrence hasn't won in how many games? Was it eight or nine? It's one of those two. I think it's nine now. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence <laughs> is desperate in need for a win. Will he, will he get it against? Is it, is Anthony Richardson hurt? Didn't he not finish last game? Yeah, Anthony Richardson's out and about. So is the Flex Flex doing it? Flacco, oh. yeah, buddy. So Flex is so it's Flacco. Fl- Flacco versus Trevor. It's got it's got to be Tom, I guess. And that is where you're going to be pissed again. You're going to be like, ah, oh, I can't believe I got that one wrong and bet against Flacco. See, there's just something I trust it's more football. about Flacco yeah, this uh, when like it the, comes to him against, against Trevor Lawrence. Against Trevor Lawrence. Fucking sunshine, brother. I don't trust him. I wouldn't trust my daughter alone in a room with him. You know what I would trust in a lo- alone in a room with my daughter? Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. That's right. He we is, got our special guest, Joe Flacco. He is Super Bowl champion. Super Bowl champion, Joe Flacco. Hall of, Fla- Hall of Famer, Joe Flacco. Hall of Famer? Hall of Fame career? Absolutely. Hall of Fame career? Tell me, uh, I'll tell you like nine quarterbacks that are going to be in the Hall of Fame or are in the Hall of Fame that are not as good as Joe Flacco. Or don't, don't have as good a career as Joe Flacco does. The only reason that he doesn't have such like... We'll get into that later. They're going to be like, why aren't you on the screen, buddy? Technical difficulties. Yeah, it's technical difficulty. So that that was that game. Now we're going to the next game of the week. We're going with what is it that on here? It is the Bills versus the Texans. I have the Bills taking back to back losses. I think this is what I was telling like in the beginning. If you saw what our um, our preseason predictions, I was saying. The Bills were going to look great against the bad teams and against the good teams. They were going to look, you know, more vulnerable. And you saw what the Ravens did to them. They smacked the fuck out of them. So I'm over here taking the Texans to win. But I could see it maybe being a close game because Josh, he's pissed over there that he got the Bears. Who does the um, Texans just recently lose to? Vikings? And before that. Or is that their only loss? I think they got one more. Maybe? Yeah, I thought they had one more. I thought there were two. I'm not, I'm not quite sure who. Well, anyhow. For that reason... You can't. For that reason, I'm out. And I'm taking the Bills over the Texans. Uh, big game. Uh, I got Josh Allen anytime touchdown. Uh, I got Josh Allen for 250 plus. Uh, I got Josh Allen for 25 plus rushing yards. That's a gimme. Um, that's going to be a big game for Josh Allen. He's pissed about the Ravens game. Um, that defense had him struggling. And uh, he could, his frustration was evident. So. Well, you know, they're, they're like, we're used to seeing someone get, you know, try to run the ball more like Josh Allen. He's, like, yeah. he's, a, he's a slower version of Lamar. So they're like, okay, he's just like. Trying to do what Lamar doing, but he's slow. I can hit you. Yeah, and he was like, ugh. So, yeah. Yeah, taking uh, Houston winning line. Uh, who who was it? I'm like, yeah, liking almost every game. Nico Collin for at least four, but he's, he's good for like between four and Four receptions four is such a good line for him, and they right. their money is always good on it. My line might be bad, though, because he's like a good four to seven. Always. I know, but sometimes it'd be like as low as, as minus 120. I'm telling you, if you get it in early enough, it's it's solid. Yeah, he's C.S. Stroud's favorite target, so. Mm-hmm. Something like, like Diggs might be the red zone target. Definitely. So. 
All right, now we're finally getting to the Ravens versus the Bengals. Low, give me Dude. all, give me all the good shit. Call Dude, good digital shit. matchup. You want all the steps, the storylines. You came to the right place. A divisional matchup between the Ravens and the Bengals. History shows that the Bengals have trouble beating the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. That defense is not suited and booted to stop the run or stop the outside passing game that Lamar struggles with. Uh, so the inside stuff is going to be hard to get, but they're going to run it straight down their fucking throats with uh, that two-headed monster they have down there. Now, now Joe Burrow, I believe, is only won against Lamar Jackson one time, if that. And so uh, I am going to be the first to tell you that uh, the Bengals are going to take another loss. They're going to move to four. Or sorry, they're going to move to one and four. And... Uh, that will put, I think that puts the Ravens either in first or second place in their division. I think the Steelers might still be above them. Yeah, Steelers were, I think they used They, they, they beat the Browns, didn't they? No, the you know, Steelers are either on the feet. They didn't no, lose last game. They lost. And they lost the last game. Yeah. They're 3-1, and one, but they, I think, won the divisional game already, so. But anyhow. Yeah, I'm definitely taking Ravens over Bengals. Um, and I think Joe Burrow is still going to have a pretty good game, but that defense is just going to get fucked up. So you can still put Joe Burrow for like two passing touchdowns. Definitely uh, T. Higgins, anytime touchdown if he's back. Um, you could do Jamar Chase if you don't want to do T. Higgins. Just pick one receiver, though. Don't do both. I feel like mm-hmm. there's one receiver that's going to catch two. Um, and then. Do it on there? I know Lamar Jackson's going to get, like, 60-plus rushing yards. Derrick Henry's probably going to go for another hundo. Uh, back to back hundo? Yeah, 100%. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great game. That's going to be definitely one you uh, you stop and you watch. You don't want to miss that. Yeah, this is where we go against each other again. I'm taking Cincinnati Monday line. What a moron. I think the Bengals need to start, you know, picking up the pace. And they definitely need to get this win. Joey B, at least two passing touchdowns. Yeah. Like you said, two touchdowns. Somebody, I don't know, but I'm taking two over. Yeah, Joey B over two. Uh, I'm taking over one and a half. Yeah, the same thing. The same, 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 same <laughs> shit, yeah. So, yeah, Cincinnati money line, Joey B, two touchdowns. Or I'll probably take Cincinnati on the spread, to be honest. Probably like, I don't know. I think it'll be a close game. You can get it within seven and a half or within nine and a half. I don't know, I don't know, I have 10 and a half. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be within a 7 to 10 point game. One of those. You're thing. taking you're taking Bengals minus 7 and a half or Bengals minus no, 10 and a half? No, no, Bengals money line in it to be safe plus 7 and a half or plus 10 and a half. How's that safe? You're already betting money line. No, then the plus? Because if they lose, they can't Then you lose because you, you bet money line. No, not, not if I put a plus in. Yes, if you put a plus. As a parlay? No, the spread, yeah. As a parlay. Yeah, well, so if, if you if they lose and you bet their money line and you can't bet both, you can't put plus and, and money. That's what I just said. Like again, <laughs> bro, I just said you can't do that. Uh, 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 can't do that. You look so stupid. Watch no. that back when you're editing. No. You'll be like, oh my god, that's how it's done. Lou was right. All right. I okay. know future cues. I tried what's to. What's the next game? Raiders Broncos. Raiders, Broncos. What do you got? Raiders, Broncos. Uh, where the fuck is this? Do we have the script? Uh, I think it's at the at Las Vegas. This, I don't think they put that one on my script, did it? Oh, okay, here it is. Okay, Raiders at Broncos. Uh, when was the last time that the Raiders beat the Broncos? Last time they played. They did? Who's going to be the quarterback for the Raiders? Uh, Gardner Minshew. Still going to mention? Is it Devontae playing? No. Still ain't playing? I don't think he is. Is that a fact check? Can I get a fact check? They still have Jacoby Myers and all those other motherfuckers. But he still has a soft tissue injury. Because he wants to get traded. He's not playing. The Broncos be beating the good teams, man. He wants to get traded. He's not playing. That means they got to lose to a shit team like the Raiders. Raiders money on. Raiders money line for me, too. But yeah, that's yeah. a simple, easy... PZ lemon squeezy one to do. Now, 
for another divisional matchup. Cardinals versus the Niners. Now, if you go back to my uh, original synopsis of this, so far what I've said has come true. The uh, Rams were going to win the first matchup and take the lead in the division, even though their record wouldn't reflect that they should be winning, the, that they're winning their division. Now, here's the Cardinals. They're going to come in and fuck up the Niners shit and make it so they don't win the division and they're a lower wild card seed in the playoffs. They're not going to be the number one seed, number two, three, or four seed. Just like I said, which is why I have Cardinals money line. Cubes. You see, this is the tough thing with divisional games, man. Anything can happen. Party over there, vulnerable right now. But man, the way Daniel just gave that ass whooping though, to so fucking um. He's giving everybody an ass whooping. Shit, he's giving everybody. He see, scored on every drive his first two games. You see, that's the other thing that makes me you know a little iffy about this. But I yeah I I just gotta take that forty on his money line. I feel like. Give me one of those games again. And this one's a part of the, I'm actually staying away from this, but if I had to pick a, a, a person to win, I got to pick the 49ers. It's like a minus, what, like a 400 or something? Something like that. Yeah, I see. I stay away from stuff like that, man. I, you Those know, locks? Yeah, I stay away from shit like that. Yeah, fuck that. A, a minus 500 or 500, unless I know I'm get super guaranteed. Unless it's the Chiefs? Yeah. And I'm not sure on this. So. Unless it's the Chiefs? Yeah, unless it's the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. We always bring that one out. Always Chiefs money line. Put it on every parlay. If you put it on every parlay, that wasn't the reason he lost this year. Yeah. Fist bump Aileen like Cameron, you fucking bitch. Oh my God. Uh, Next one is Seahawks versus the New York Chodes. The New York Chodes. Yep. Giants versus Seahawks. Don't overthink this one, bud. It's easy. No, Seahawks money line? Seahawks money line. On a short week? On a short week. On a short week. On a short week. I mean, it should be, yeah, even on a short week. Gino Smith is slinging that thing. But yeah, that Seahawks Giants, I'm taking the Seahawks money line. Yeah, that's easy money. Seahawks money line, I think there's a, I think it's at a good line right now, like 240 or something like that. Some you ordering pizza or not? Uh, you can only order pizza. I'll throw it down. Rams versus Packers. Oh, shit. I had a feeling last game that Jordan Love was going to lay a comeback from injury. Now, it's, you know, you see how in the end I was coming back. He was warming up. They should have kept him really close. They should have kept him really close. That would have been he wasn't crazy. Ready. He wasn't ready. I mean, he almost won. He almost came back. Almost. Yeah, so we're taking actually that Packers money line. I'm not liking Stafford without uh, Cooper Cub or Puka. He needs at least one in the back. When are they coming back? I don't know. It might be a couple more weeks, but man, mm. Cooper Park might be back soon. But yeah, I'm not liking Stafford against almost anybody unless it's a shitty ass team like the Panthers and shit like that. I'm not liking him against anybody like that. That's crazy. I mean, he's gonna have every once in a while games to become perfect, but I just can't trust those receivers to make a play every time. Yeah, fluke loss for the Packers. Rams winning. This is another hater pick. So oh, shit. I hate, the, hate the Packers. Jordan Love, the Drew. Uh, Power Williams, two touchdowns. Two. I can see that. Next, we have Steelers versus the Cowgirls. Hmm. You see, can I count on the Steelers' defense to win the games again? I mean, it's going to be the Cowboys are going to be at the most vulnerable. Who they are? They're without Michael no, Parsons. Michael Parsons. There's somebody else, too. They're missing somebody else. One of their cornerbacks. Hey, one of their cornerbacks. Land, they're land. missing somebody else hella good. So, they're at their weakest right now. But... Dak still uh, sucks. Dak, yeah, you see him look. And Dak still sucks. So, you know, that's the odds are stacked against man. the Cowboys right now, so... Who, who do I really want to pick? Is it Russell Wilson better or is it still Justin Fields? I think it's still Justin Fields. Justin Fields, is it just enough? Who do you got? Give me the Steelers. Taking the Steelers? Steelers, I think Watt is about to have a fucking day. 
See, that's you know, the only way of walking go crazy. You know, the, I think and Dak already sucked, so you know, yeah, there could be some pick six. Or yeah, I'm saying, I think he's gonna have a three sack day. Yeah, not to go pick Steelers money line too. Yeah, T.J. Watt out there, man. That's a scary dude out there. And finally, we have the Chiefs versus the Saints. Prime time, Monday oh, night football. Are we gonna be there? <sighs> we might be there. Oh yeah. Man. We might there? just we might just happen to show up. We might just happen Chiefs to show up. Chiefs versus the Saints. Everybody is talking. Is this finally gonna be the Chiefs' first loss? What are the odds of that? We're playing where the Super Bowl is gonna be at this year. Are we gonna be there? I don't know. The odds are stacking against us. I think we're gonna be there. The odds are stacking against us. Man. I don't know. All roads lead to one destination this year, and this year it goes through New Orleans. And we won in the city of of uh, in the city of Angels in that Vegas, or is that Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Okay. City well, down, no city, uh, Sin City. City oh. of Fallen Angels. Sin no, it is not it. Where did we win our first Super Bowl at again? I'm taking Saints money line up sitting out playing. Well, who would I be to say that? Sometimes, of course, I got to take Chiefs money line. Of course. But I can see the Saints upsetting, but, I, you know, Patrick Mahomes against Derek Carr. I against Derek Carr, buddy. You just can't do that. You, can't do you see him like that. once. He's like one and eight. You can't do stuff like that. Point is, Chiefs by Lock in Alvin Kamara. Yeah, lock in Alvin Kamara for like forty, at least forty yards rushing or receiving. It. He's just crazy. I don't think so. We've stopped every fucking running back. Look at Derrick Henry. We fucking made him look like a bitch. Yeah. We made him look like Breland Speaks. Okay. Okay. Exactly. I don't know. Pat, Patrick Mahomes at least two passing touchdowns. Chiefs money That's line. funny as fuck. So. Yeah. So yeah, yeah Patrick Mahomes at least three passing touchdowns and uh, 300 yards. Derek Carr probably at least two passing. Well, one of these. No. At least one. No. And no. They're not going to score more than 10 points. So at least one touchdown. Look, Hughes, I need your best bets. Not your beauty of the week yet. Your best bet. My best bet. What is this? The, the what bets, is the this? bets that you can bet just by themselves. They don't have to be a parlay. Or if you did do it as a parlay, it'd be like a super mega ultra parlay. I don't need... And then he, he throws me a curveball that we don't even got. I'm just like, what the hell? I'm the one that comes up with the new fucking uh, segments, okay? No, I can't. I got a beauty. I, I don't even got a beauty of the week. Like, I got All right, well, then it's minutes. time for Logan's new segment. Lowe's new segment. Well, then it's time for Lowe's new segment. Best bets. Even though we did it, we did it a couple times this year already. Best bets this week. These are bets that you can either put together to make a super parlay, or you can bet by themselves and still make a considerable amount of cash. We got Devontae Adams anytime touchdown if he plays. If he plays, there's a chance he might play, but it's looking like he's not. I think he wants to get traded. Stephon Diggs, anytime touchdown. That's been free money lately. Stephon Diggs, over five and a half receptions. Free money. Panthers money line. Cardinals money line. And you put them all together, it's a plus 434,569. Do the math. Now, it's time for what everybody's been waiting for. Our... Beauty of the week. The beauty of the week. The super ultra mega beauty of the week. The beauty of the week. Put them both together. What do you got? Billion dollar parlay. It's time for the beauty of the week. Parlay. You go first because I don't even got one. I got like two things. <laughs> okay. I got 95 things. Cardinals money line. Joe Flacco two plus touchdowns. Travis Kelsey, anytime touchdown. Bank Show, two plus touchdowns. Rashad White, 50 plus yards. Or 70 plus total yards. 
That's receiving and rushing. I'm liking, I'm liking one of them stats. You're liking the Rashad White one. That's the fact. It's time for my beauty of the week. I'm going with Packers money line. Patrick Mahomes over two passing touchdowns. And after that, I really don't know. Like, well, I don't, I don't know really anything that's standing out just like that. Shoot, that's all I got right now, to be honest. I'm taking Green Bay, just Green Bay money line, Patrick Mahomes, two passing touchdowns. Um, yeah. Well, good enough. Sorry, I need to wait a little bit. Juice really said, good enough for who it's for for you guys. Don't worry, you can use mine. It's guaranteed money. It's a lot of money. Um, go out, buy yourself a steak dinner. You know, do, uh, donate to Donald Trump's 2024 campaign. And, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, where Parlay Boys presents... What they can't say. Shit. Episode... Five? five? Episode five. Outro music. Hit the outro music. No, we're gonna get copyright. Not <laughs> if I do it, not if I'm performing it. <laughs>